Hi YouTube! So I found out even more spoilers for the Boxy Lux, uh, the Fall Boxy Lux slash September Boxy Charm. Um, for one, we are going to have 10 items in the Boxy Lux, which is literally twice as many products as we get in our monthly Boxy Charms. Um, one of the items is, um, and it's going to be in the Pretty Vulgar. I mean, it's pretty vulgar. <laughs> it's by Pretty Vulgar. And it's the Nightingale palette. And it's going to also be in the September Boxy Charm. So even if you don't upgrade to the Boxy Lux, you'll be getting the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow palette in Nightingale. And that palette is a uh, smoky eye palette. It's very cool colors, neutral tones, and um, the, there's nothing warm in it. So I've already decided that I'm going to gift it to my friend who can pull it off better than I can because I like warm colors and I pull off warm colors and I know that BoxyCharm is supposed to be about trying new things. Um, but you know, I, in my younger years, you know, my early twenties and during my teens, I did a lot of cool tone colors and just looking back at it, I, I don't like it. I did it. I did that thing, you know, I passed it. I'm over it. And I like warm colors. So that's just something that I, I know about myself. I'm going to go ahead and take this flower out. It's pulling my little hairs. Um, just, yeah, I know this is, I'm getting myself completely sidetracked, but just, you know, before I go any further, I just want to say um, that the look that I have going on for me right now, um, it's kind of wet, washed out in this lighting, but uh, I'm wearing the monochromatic orange look that I'm doing for Instagram. Um, for Instagram, I'm doing a creative challenge right now. It's um, monochromatic colors, right? I mean, obviously right now I just did orange and this is my first one in the series and I'm going to do each color of the rainbow. And um, so I have this like orange flower. It's really hard to tell if that's orange in this lighting. This is really washing me out. This lighting is really bad. But that's okay. Um, and if you go to my Instagram, which is Esmeralda Glows, then I'll have the deets in there about the products that I'm wearing. I'm wearing um, KL Polish right now on my fingernails, which is, this is the shade Marshmallow Sunset. Um, and I'll have like all the details on that. Um, okay, sorry, I got way sidetracked there. You probably don't care about that. <laughs> You're here to hear about Boxy Lux. Okay, so um, like I said, 10 full-size products, which is twice what we normally get in our Boxy Charm, and we are all going to be getting the Nightingale palette by Pretty Vulgar in our September Boxy Charm slash Fall Boxy Lux. Um, other products that were we that may be in this box, but I'm not sure is um, these are the products that USF said would definitely be in a 2018 box. Um, there's Kat Von D. And I think it's one of two products. I think it's either the Tattoo Liner or the Lolita Shade Lipstick because um, she had an, an entire Allure Beauty Box was like dedicated to her. I think it was like June or July. And inside of it, there was the Studded Lip Cream in the shade Lolita. There was the Lip Liner in Lolita. And there was the Tattoo Liner. So I think it's one of those items because I've noticed with beauty subscriptions, whenever they have a, when a certain company is, um, puts one of their products in there and then like later in the year they have other subscriptions that have that company in there, it's usually the same item I've noticed. So um, that's what I think it's going to be from Kat Von D, either Lolita or um, the Tattoo Liner. Personally, I hope it's the Tattoo Liner because I have it on my top of my eye right now and I think it's a really great product and Lolita might be a little too light for me and too too natural too nude I usually go for a more bold lip so I'm hoping it's a tattoo liner other products that we're gonna have this year and could possibly be in the fall um, box or the September box or the fall boxy Lux are Colourpop he said there's going to be a Hank and Henry item sometime this year um, Hank and Henry, I went to their Instagram and they said that it is a product that they have not put out on the market yet. So that's that's pretty cool. You're not going to be able to tell by going to their site what, what it could be because it's something that has not been released yet. And then um, we're going to get something by Tarte from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. Yosef said specifically that it's not just Tarte, it's specifically Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection. I hope it's something in skincare. Tarte's one of my favorite brands and their skincare is top notch. So I'm hoping it's a skincare item like a moisturizer or something like that. Um, what else? 
Uh, they're supposed to have, I said ColourPop, oh, we're supposed to have a Lorac item coming soon. I don't know what it's going to be, if you haven't said, but I'm hoping it's the Desert Sunset palette. That's definitely not going to be, that's definitely not going to be a September or the fall limited edition box because we're already getting an eyeshadow palette and they wouldn't put two eyeshadow palettes in one box. So I'm thinking that could be an October, November box or something. Or actually, I mean, it could, it, it could just be a different item. It could be bronzer or something like that. I have the Lorac bronzer. I'm actually wearing it right now. This light is really flat, like, like washing me out though. So I look, I actually am very tan right now, but I look so white in this, in this lighting. Okay, and then um, I think those are all the items. I mean, I think those are all the companies that uh, he said that we're going to be getting this year. I think that's it. Yeah. So um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I find out the spoilers like pretty much before anybody. Like I'm always stalking online. Um, and I will keep you as up to date as I am on those. And then please check out my Instagram. Like I said, it's called Esmeral Esmeralda Glows. And uh, you'll, that way you'll be able to check out my um, different creative challenges I'm doing. Right now I'm doing the monochromatic color challenge. And then um, after that I'm going to be doing the different decades. So I'm going to be doing, you know, 40s makeup, 50s, 60s, 70s. I'm going to be doing, okay. I'm going to be doing every decade in the 20th and 21st century that we've had so far. And I'm going to be having background music by Postmodern Jukebox, which is one of my favorite um, bands that I've been listening to lately. They are so fun. Okay, so please subscribe and like. Go check out my Instagram. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.